fossils. The Himalayan mountains, the highest mountain chain in the world. A climber is inching forwards through the snow, ice and rocks. At this height, there isn't much oxygen. Life is difficult and there aren't many animals about. In which case, what's this sea snail doing up at 7,000 meters? Why do we find sea animals at the top of some mountains. What's more, why are these animals made out of stone? Many years ago, many, many years ago, this snail lived at the bottom of the sea. And one day it left its shell behind, for whatever reason. Time passed and the shell got full of earth. A combination of chemical reactions and high pressure eventually converted the shell into stone in a process that took millions of years, until finally it turned into something we call a fossil. The Earth's crust is in a constant state of change. Earthquake. Volcanoes. And other natural phenomena that bring on climate change, for some areas of land to rise up and others to sink. These changes take place over thousands and thousands of years. And what was once the bottom of the sea ends up being the top of a mountain. What is a desert today, once upon a time, lay hundreds of meters below the ocean. Fossils help us to trace the changes in the Earth over millions of years. They are the remains of ancient animals, many of which no longer exist such as the dinosaurs, flying reptiles, or saber-toothed tigers. What will the fossils we leave behind now be like for scientists in millions of years to come? <laughs> 